redesigned Vibe Performance Manual Boost Controller is one of the easiest ways to gain horsepower from your engine's turbo system with proper tuning. CNC machine from Billet Aluminum, the new manual boost controller includes a low pressure check valve, mounting bracket, zip ties, as well as 4 feet of 532nd silicone reference line, and it is compatible with all diaphragm type wastegates. This boost controller is not compatible with turbo systems that have boost pressure regulated or controlled by the OEM ECU. Vibrant designed this product with a quick, simple installation in mind. First, find a mounting location that is easy to reach and away from the turbo heat. We do not recommend mounting it to the engine. The two screws that are included with the kit require a 3mm Allen key for removal. Depending on your setup, you may have to modify the provided bracket. We modified this particular mounting bracket on a vise using vise grips and a hammer to bend it into a 90 degree shape. Once modified, put both bolts back in with the Allen key and mount the bracket tightly using the two screws so the boost controller is nicely secured. The provided low pressure check valve aids in eliminating noise associated with bleed off type boost controllers. When installed, the check valve opens between 4 and 5 psi and also prevents stall out on mass airflow sensor equipped cars. Install the provided silicone line from the lower half of the wastegate to the boost controller and another silicone line from the low pressure check valve to the charge pipe. The boost controller is not directional. However, when using the low pressure check valve, it should be installed on the charge pipe side of the boost controller. It is not mandatory that the low pressure check valve always be used. Once the boost controller is set, the large brass dial will keep it locked in position with its ball and spring mechanism. Just set it and forget it. In case of performance upgrades or changes to your turbo system, it may be a good idea to log your settings in some manner after setting it up and the tuning is complete. Keep in mind our boost controller is not limited to the use of silicone lines. If you are working with a turbo system that calls for a reference line that is beyond what we supply in the kit, all of the fittings of the boost controller are 1 8 MPT. This allows for a braided line upgrade or a PTFE reference line upgrade. Check out our website for all these and more complimentary products. If there's ever a time you have a question about installation, please get in touch with our tech team to ensure you're following the best practice recommendations.